Hey there, Ender 3 friends. Uh, you may recognize this print in place bearing that I created. And then also I just created this extrusion adapter. It slides into the 2020 extrusion so we can attach things without really modifying anything on our Ender 3. So what I just did is I combined these two so that the filament will have a guide uh, as it goes over the edge and then it'll also connect to the snap-on guide that I created for the bottom of the filament path as it enters the extruder. Let's head over to the printer and see just how the project is coming along. So we've got the Ender 3 purring along. Uh, you'll notice that mine is still stock all in these areas. And this is kind of fun when it starts to move to the back. You can see how the print in place bearing printed the large ring and then it used those small supports that I created in Tinkercad to move up and it's creating the center ring that will be stable. So the bearing will be able to totally uh, move while the uh, center stays firm. Here you can see the exact same technique where I've got the little filament guide that is in the back that keeps the filament going where we want it. Uh, you'll notice that it's held in there nice and tight and that snaps totally in to the area above the NEMA motor. And then what I'm building right now is a part that'll slide right in those grooves and then poke out and give me one more bearing for the system. To get the right amount of tension, I may have to slide my filament further to the right, but those are the kind of things you fiddle with. Like I said when I showed you the project, I'm not even sure if this is going to be useful, but it was something I felt like doing, so I'm giving it a shot. Alright Ender friends, so you can see this is what it looks like when it's finished. Bed is cooled just a smidge, and uh, one of the benefits of having the glass bed is that as soon as it cools, the design just snaps off. You can see the um, little supports I added come off super easy. And then all I gotta do is wiggle this bearing just a hair, and boom, it already starts to spin because of the gaps that I put in with Tinkercad. And then the beauty of this design, let me bust off these little supports that I added using a uh, mesh mixer. Now, this little fella. So then let's come on over here to the end. We'll take off this piece that I had put on a moment ago. And let's add the new one that just slides in and fits like that. And now my filament, we slide that on. Notice how easily that slides in there. And then we can slide the filament through the ring so that it keeps that path. I'll loosen these up so it moves over a little bit so that it's in the right location. But you can see that's pretty darn nifty. And we'll keep my filament going all the way down, just the way I want it. Wasn't totally necessary, but didn't hurt anything. And kind of cool that it was all built just using Tinkercad and the ability to design the little part that slides in there. Thanks for watching, friends. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click that like button. And of course, if you get a chance, please subscribe. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie about these enders, by me, HL Mod Tech. Click that notification bell. Have a great day, friends. Thanks for watching.